Hi, today I will tell you about the best alternatives for Adobe Lightroom. In my list I will show you 4 alternatives. Two of them are free and two are the paid ones. All these alternatives tested by myself. That's why I am recommending you. I will try to explain what's important to know about these softwares, so it will be easier for you to choose the best one for yourself. If you know about any other software you can let us know in the comments below. So without wasting any time let's start the video. Lightroom isn't for everyone. For some, the workflow doesn't suit the way they like to work. For long-term Lightroom users, Adobe's decision to switch to monthly subscriptions rather than a one-time payment has left them feeling dissatisfied and looking for alternatives. Those who are new to photography especially don't want to be tied down to paying high prices for an app if they don't know it will properly suit their needs. In this video, we take a look at these four of the best Lightroom alternatives that you may want to consider. First let me show you my list then we can go into details. First one is Skylum Luminar which is paid app. The best one in my list. Second one is Darktable which is free. The best alternative to Lightroom for free. Third one is Raw Therapy. This one is also free. I found this one is useful as well because it's free. Fourth one is Capture One Pro. This one is paid app. Second best paid alternative to the Lightroom. Now I will describe what is the best in all these softwares one by one. I will tell you the pros and cons of each software, so you can decide which one you're gonna try. Skylum Luminar has been popular as a raw photo editor for years, but in 2018, it added digital asset management capabilities. Since then, other image enhancement filters powered by artificial intelligence have been added, which have taken the app to a whole new level. For example, Accent AI will analyze a photo to automatically calculate the best edits to make. These sorts of tools are great for newcomers to image editing programs. There is also quite a large focus on presets and one-click edits, which will help you become familiar with the software. Those with more experience aren't left out, as advanced editing tools are available for those who like finer grain control. The pricing for Skylum Luminar is modest and you only pay for a one-time license. However, there is a 30-day money-back guarantee. Skylum Luminar is available as both a standalone app and a plugin for other apps like Lightroom, Photoshop, and Photos for Mac OS. Reasons to buy No subscription, one-time payment, AI-powered tools, layers like Photoshop, 30-day money-back guarantee, free trial, reasons to avoid. Image organization doesn't include keywords. Masking tools not as efficient as Lightroom. Darktable software is a free open-source raw editor for non-destructible image enhancement. It allows beginners to make basic photo editing, apply filters, and do color correction. The image editor has quite good guides for studying the program faster. It is perfect for newbies who want to learn how to edit photos for Instagram. But if you are a professional photographer, Choose another photo editing software like Lightroom or Affinity Photo. You may use Darktable for advanced color correction and some basic picture editing. The photo editor has a module for removing stains, creating different irregularly shaped areas, as well as a possibility of cloning. Pros It's free. Non-destructive image editing. Open source. Many available formats. Basic image enhancement. Cons no online and mobile versions. Runs slower than alternatives. Raw Therapy is a free, open-source raw image processing app available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. In terms of interface and toolset, it's something of a hybrid between Photoshop and Lightroom, though it doesn't have the same level of image management and organization capabilities of either. But because it's more of a lightweight version of the other apps, it doesn't have the same steep learning curve. What raw therapy does share with Lightroom, though, is that it is non-destructive when working with raw files and will always keep them intact. It also has many of the editing tools that you'll find in Lightroom, like adjusting exposure, sharpening and curves, and color correction. Pros Free Easy to learn Familiar interface Cons Limited feature set no image collections to organize photos. Lack of tutorials. Capture One Pro is a photo editing program and is aimed at professional and studio photographers, offering a range of advanced tools. Capture One Pro is similar to Lightroom in its feature set but includes some of the functionality found in Photoshop, like being able to use layers. When organizing images, users can group them by sessions, 
not just catalogs, and you can even add annotations directly onto photos. Because Phase 1's history has been with high-end cameras, the software has benefited from having a similar emphasis on high-end rendering quality. The platform used to be quite expensive because of that focus, but the price has come down to be similar to that of Lightroom. You can either pay for a subscription or purchase the software outright. Subscribers get free updates, and outright purchasers can get updates at special prices. You can also get licenses that support just one brand of camera, Sony, Fujifilm, or Nikon for a reduced price. Reasons to buy Advanced features for studio users Extended customization Choice of a monthly subscription or outright purchase Reasons to avoid Steep learning curve More expensive than Lightroom No HDR or panorama merging In my opinion you should get Skylum Luminar because it's cheap and one-time purchase only, and easy to use. That was my review on Lightroom alternatives. If you think you know about some other app you can let others know in the comments below. If this video is helpful for you then please hit the like button and leave a comment. Share this video to your circle to help me to do more videos like this. Also don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video till then goodbye.